Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pasala. Today I will discuss a problem which came in Sechan June 2023 in part B. Let's see the problem. Let a be an entire function that satisfy mod of fz less than equal to e to the power y for all j equal to x plus i y in C where x y in R which of the following statements is true here given a b an entire function with mod of fz less than equal to e to the power y we know that the necessary condition of a function b an entire function is del f del z bar equal to 0 here we can check if i do derivative with respect to z bar we get all the option is 0 so every in the fourth four option every function are entered so we have to check that satisfy this condition or not so first we check the for the first option in the option one given fz equal to c e to the power minus iz we can write it c e to the power i x plus i y so c to the power minus i x into to the power y because i square equal to minus 1 so if i take mod of fz what we get mod c e to the power minus i x e to the power y now what we know that e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta if i take mod of e to the power i theta so it will be cos square theta plus sin square theta so it will, it will be 1 so it becomes 1 so basically we get mod c into to the power y now given mod c less than equal to 1 in first option so a mod of fz becomes less than equal to e to the power y so the condition is satisfied so one option one is true fz equal to c to the power minus iz or sum c belongs to c with mod c less than equal to 1 so option one is true now we check for option 2 what is given fz equal to c e to the power iz similarly if c to the power i into x plus i y so we get c to the power i x into minus y now if i take mod of fz we get mod c mod e to the power i x into mod e to the power minus y that becomes 1 so basically we get mod c e to the power minus y now we have to check it is less than e to the power y or not we have to check it so if i take c in the option 2 we can see mod c less than equal to 1 so we can take mod c equal to 1 just for example mod c equal to 1 and y equal to we write 1 so what is become that fz equal to just e to the power minus 1 that means 1 by e now it should be less than e to the power y e to the power y here y, y is 1 so e to the power 1 so but it is not 1 by e loss not less than e so it, it is not less than e so the option 2 is wrong option 2 is not satisfied we for we take the example we see that option 2 is not satisfied this condition this condition so option 2 is false now for the option 3 fz equal to c e to the power minus ij fz equal to c e to the power fz equal to sorry fz equal to e to the power minus c ij fz equal to fz equal to e to the power minus i c z okay so similarly we can write it e to the power minus i c x plus i y so we can write it e to the power minus i c x into to the power c y so if i take mod of fz 
we get e to the power minus i c x to e to the power c y minus so this is become one so basically we get e to the power c y okay now similarly if i take c equal to minus one so mod of x becomes e to the power minus y if i take y equal to one so it becomes e to the power minus one but it not less than e to the power one so in this case also it, it not satisfy this condition if z equal to more less than e to the power y this not satisfy if i take the example c equal to minus one y equal to one x we, x is anything so for example is zero so it not satisfy so option three also false for option 4 fz equal to e to the power cij in option 4 given that fz equal to e to the power icj so it can be written as e to the power ic into x plus iy it can be written as e to the power icx into e to the power minus cy i square since i square equal to minus 1 so if i take mod fz we get e to the power i c x mod of e to the power minus c y so basically we get this becomes 1 so we get e to the power minus c y similarly if i take if i take um, c equal to 1 so it becomes mod of f z becomes e to the power minus y if i take it to y equal to minus 1 x can be anything so y can be equal to minus 1 becomes e to the power minus 1 ok uh, y equal to minus 1 it becomes e to the power 1 so if you take y equal to minus 1 it becomes e to the power it not it, is, it should be less than e to the power y means y to the power minus 1 but it is not less than so option 4 is also false for c equal to 1 y equal to minus 1 ok So option 4 also was false. So option 1 is true. Thank you for the watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and support.